Good morning. Today is a very exciting day. My cat, I feel like, is gonna knock over my camera. Oh, okay. Stella. This is Stella. I'm very excited today because today I am quitting my job. I am a software engineer and a generalized UX designer, but mostly doing software engineer work. And it's just not for me. I don't really enjoy it at all. I graduated from Cal Poly Slow with a math degree, never really knowing what I wanted to do when I, once I graduated. And then this job kind of just fell in my lap and it was perfect. It was what I, exactly what I was looking for. I wanted a remote job. I wanted to do something in the tech field. I wanted to do UX design mostly. That's what I was kind of like leaning towards. And this job promised me that I would get that experience. It's really not UX design centered. It's, it's mostly software engineering and my heart's just not in it. So I'm quitting my job today. After this, what's next you might ask? I don't know. I've been doing this UX design course through Coursera through Google and I really want to finish that so I'll be focusing on that um, I'm starting up my YouTube channel again because I miss it and I love looking back at my videos so I'm documenting things in my life now so I'm gonna be doing this again and other than that um, within the next few months I might be moving across the state nope not across the state across the country so I'm originally from California and I moved to Florida for my boyfriend's work for a year and now a year is almost up in Florida and we're probably going to be moving again for his work for another year somewhere else. So a lot is happening and I'm just really excited for this next chapter of my life. I feel like I've been waiting to quit for so long and it just really feels right now. I'll probably get a part-time job somewhere but I'm gonna wait until I know where we're moving because in the next few months we're just gonna be moving 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 so i am just really excited to start this chapter in my life good morning and I gave him my two weeks notice and I just can't believe that just happened. I don't think I've really soaked this in yet. My first job, my first career out of college, I've quit it. That's a milestone. That is a milestone. Some people are lucky and they love their first job and they'll still stay in it forever, but I don't think that's the majority. So I just passed a milestone quitting my first job. I just quit my job. Oh my gosh, that's... I feel like I was having an out-of-body experience when I was talking to him. I just did that. That's crazy. Wow. Okay. It went surprisingly well. I think he was a little shocked, but I also think he saw it coming because I've told him for a long time that this wasn't exactly what I saw myself doing. So I think he knew that at some point I would leave. But... Other than that, he was at a loss of words at some point, so I think I definitely, I think it surprised him a little bit, but I think he also saw it coming at some point. I would say it went surprisingly well though, and I just can't believe I just did it. Okay, so today is Thursday. I put in my two weeks on Monday, and um, I'm out of office for half of the day today because I'm going to get my hair done. I'm going to go blonde and I'm gonna get a haircut. That's what I mostly need. I, I mostly just need a haircut, but I'm also going to go blonder. I'm gonna ask for long layers and face framing layers or like curtain bang type things. And I'm really excited. So I'm going to walk over there. It's a really close haircutting place. So I'm gonna walk over and like, Two hours, I actually have a lot of time. 
So, um... Say goodbye to my old hair. I forgot to mention another thing from my new era is that I actually just got off of birth control about a month ago now, maybe. Maybe a little less than a month ago. And I was on it forever since 2017. I have PCOS, so I was basically told that I needed to be on it to regulate my hormones and everything. But this past year, or past six months really, my cysts were getting so bad. My PCOS was just getting so bad. I had cyst ruptures, like multiple ones, which I was never having before. And I even had an ovarian torsion, which was like the most pain I'd ever been. And I actually thought I was dying. So I'm now off of birth control as well. So I'm dealing with like the hormone changes. I'm getting some acne. My PCOS though has been pretty good since I've gotten off. It's just like the hormone shifts that I'm navigating through and that's like fine because whatever that's gonna happen and oh, at some point I'd have to get off birth control anyway, so might as well just be now. So that's another thing that's new in my life and it's been a great experience so far. So I'm really pleased with all these changes and I just wanted to mention that because I do look really tired and that probably has to do with that as well. And it's just another big change that I like to document my PCOS journey. So, yeah. Okay. Um. I got my hair done right two days ago two days yeah, ago Thursday. two days ago I got my hair done and I'll insert a picture of what I asked for but it's definitely not what I asked for but I like it I really do like it I asked for layers I got some layers and I asked to go pretty blonde and I mean I'm definitely blonder but it's more of like a blended blonde and not um I was gonna go like really blonde. I'll show I'll insert the picture. Well this morning we went to the beach. We got coffees. Cody surfed and there was a little farmer's market out near the beach that I walked around in and it was really cool. It was more like an arts market, not food but art and stuff like that. So it was super cool. I just finished week one of the two week notice period. So I have one more week at work and I guess I'll just update how the first week went. It was really slow and just really weird. I didn't really have much to do. And then yesterday on Friday, my boss gave me like a huge task to do and I couldn't even do it then. So I'm gonna be doing that all next week when I should be closing out everything and like sending all the equipment back to him. So it's kind of weird to now have a lot to do all of a sudden when I'm really like mentally done. <laughs> But we'll see how that goes. There's a lot of drama at work. So this week literally lasted forever. And other than that though, it's been pretty good. I feel like everyone is respecting my decision, at least to my face. And that's really nice to have that sort of like support kind of. And and they also that they're gonna miss me and even if they don't mean it which i think they did mean it that was also really nice <laughs> and i think it's been pretty civilized at least like face to face i don't know what anyone's saying behind my back but that's kind of what my work is like lots of drama for no reason behind everyone's back so i'm excited for this week to be over and i'll give you another update before then but right now we're just driving through ponte vedra which is Beautiful. If you're ever in Jacksonville, you have to look at all the houses and the beaches because it's, it's Ponte Pedro. Ponte. Ponte. Instead of Ponte. 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 Vedra. Anyways, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful area. There's lots of the development right now. Lots of houses being I think built. We're still in Jack's Beach. Oh. Like we're, we're transitioning into. Regardless, yeah. it's so beautiful. <laughs> Sorry. I think it, it like transitioned from being really beachy and almost like. 
um, like shack beachy style yeah. to rich beachy style. So yeah. I can tell that we're transitioning over. Look at, there's like becoming two, three story homes. Yeah, it's, oh my gosh. Yeah. And lots of new development. It's just beautiful. Well, um, that's about it for now. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. Y'all, this is weird. It's my second to last day. Tomorrow I'm shipping everything back. Today is like my last day actually working. And it feels really weird. Really, 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 really weird. I'm like getting out the boxes and everything to ship everything back since I work remote and I'm living in Florida, but my work is based in California. So some of the boxes out and everything, it just feels weird. Stella's gonna miss eating all these wires. Stella, you unplugged it. Oh my gosh. Girl, you're caught in the... Girl, oh my gosh. What'd you do? What did you unplug? There we go, jeez. Stella, what are you doing? Hey. Hey. Stella. Yeah? Oh. Does that mean it's recording? <laughs> yeah. Okay, how do I flip it? Do I just, can I not do that while recording? Yeah, you can flip the screen and then turn it around. There's Stella. Hi, Stella. Hi. Can you see the clouds? Yeah, they can see the clouds. She looks so much cuter in this camera than mine. Hi, Stella. Hi. <laughs> Why are you getting so close? Hey, she just <laughs> snipped it. Okay, bye. Bye. Wow. Is that thing real? That's so crazy. It's so bright. Like it's so In pigmented. Yeah. Wow. Do you think it's already fading? I can't tell. Oh my gosh, it's so colorful. Watch lightning strike it. <laughs> yeah, these are the clouds near us. official day of work um, this morning I just spent time cleaning up my computer cleaning out files my emails and just rearranging things so that it's all cleaned up to send the computer back to my boss um, and yeah after I finish that after I finish everything on my offboarding list then it's time to pack everything up and ship it back at UPS so it's crazy I'm gonna finish up doing some things on my computer and finish up organizing some things and then I have my last meeting with all my coworkers. I'm gonna say bye to everyone and then pack up, ship it all back, and it'll be done. This desk is gonna go from having these giant monitors in my computer to just my my little laptop and maybe Cody's monitor. Maybe he'll move his stuff to the desk, but it's very crowded right now. It's all gonna change very soon and I'm excited. Cody. Yeah. How do you feel about it being my last day? It's pretty crazy. Any um, 
Words of advice for me. Um, keep the backpack. Any concerns? Um, have you started packing everything up? No. I'm going to start after the morning meeting. It's in 30 minutes. Oh, okay. 20 minutes. Yeah, um, hopefully they're nice to you. I think they will be. I think it'll be a sweet goodbye, hopefully. And then I'll pack everything up and then go to the UPS store. Do you want to go with me, like, for your lunch break? Sure. Thanks. Yeah. And then lastly, um, what are you mostly excited about with me quitting? Um, your positive energy. Yay! So a shift in energy. I, yeah, I think like every day after work, you just look destroyed. <laughs> but I think now, um, hopefully that's not the case. Thank you. No problem. I'm excited. Stella, your turn. What do you have to say? It's my last day. Bless you. <laughs> she is just so cute. The sweetest. I'm still waiting to go to my morning meeting, but I just wanted to share this. My mom just texted me saying, happy first day of your next chapter. And I really like that because everyone's been saying happy last day of work. And it is my last day of work and that's super exciting. But this was the first time I heard happy first day of your next chapter. And I thought that that was really cute. So I just wanted to share that. Thank you, mom. I love you. I just got out of my last meeting and everyone was so nice and I said bye to everyone and it was sad but everyone was wishing me luck with my next adventures in life. <laughs> it was nice. It was really nice, Cody. It was good. Yeah. It was so nice. I can't believe, like, everyone was just wishing me luck and everything, everything in the future. It was just like good vibes and everyone said that they'd miss me and that it's been great. And I said that it's been great. Oh my gosh, the clouds look like Toy Story right now, like the Toy Story wallpaper. Okay, maybe it's not exactly like it, but isn't that pretty? No. <laughs> Cody. Yeah. I just had my last meeting. I know, that's crazy. Isn't it? I just had my last meeting. This is crazy. Are you gonna help me pack everything up? No. What you eating? <laughs> He's eating peanuts for the record. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Cody, can we have like a little dance party? Can we go to Wawa? And have a little dance party? Let's come on, let's have a dance party. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I don't know if I should post this. Dance party, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is just crazy. Doesn't feel real. I know, I think it's gonna feel even more real once I start packing everything up. Cause since everything's still like out, it's like, okay, I still work there. I still have everything. I could like call and go on a meeting right now, but then I'm gonna pack it up and then it's gonna, and then I'm gonna have to drive it to UPS and then we're gonna ship it off and then it'll be gone. Yeah. Wow. Do you need help putting the monitors away? Probably. Okay. Well... Bring it on here. I feel like there's more space and the couch is super soft, whereas in there... I feel like it'd be easier to drop stuff. I don't know, actually. I think it's fine. Good? Really? No. I was doing a time lapse on my phone, but my phone doesn't have enough storage, so that didn't work out. But I have slowly got things into boxes, and I'm just organizing everything right now. So this is all for the phone. Maybe I should put that all in a baggie. But there's still a lot left to go. So the two monitors and everything. Look at all these wires. That's not even all of them because I put I, I put a couple of them in here. So that's not all of the wires. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to record on here. But I know it's probably going to take me a while. And this doesn't have a ton of space. So I'm just going to keep going. And hopefully time lapse this. Okay. <laughs>
so here's everything packed up and the desk is looking pretty empty. It's pretty messy, but I think everything's off of it. So now I'm going to go through the list of everything that I'm supposed to return and make sure everything is there. And then I'm gonna go to UPS and send it all back. We're loading everything into the car. Oh, the clouds look so pretty. Alright, I should help. Okay, just dropped off my stuff and Cody bought us Wawa milkshakes. Cheers. Mm -hmm. And sandwiches. And little do you know, we almost just got in a car accident. Not Cody's fault. <laughs> Emily's fault. My fault, no. It was the other driver. But, um, just dropped off all the stuff. Excuse me, sir. And we're going back home, we're gonna eat lunch. And I'm gonna organize my desk. And it just feels weird to not have everything here anymore. But I'm excited. I'm excited to create the desk area and the office area to be like my actual space like how I want it to be yeah it feels weird it doesn't feel like I've quit yet it just feels like a Friday that I got out early and did some work stuff Monday is gonna be weird Monday will be so weird all of next week so but that'll be another video my first week not with, with no work okay well that's all for now peace and blessings okay just had my Wawa and now I'm going to try to organize this desk space so that it looks nice and it's more usable um, and probably that area too, just like this whole room kind of. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll just do another montage. just a few days later and I'm realizing that I never finished this video. <laughs> I'm editing it right now. Hi Stella. Hi. Um, but I just cleaned up the desk. It's pretty simple still. Cody's monitor and stuff is on it because he will work here sometimes when he's working from home. I'm just editing my video right now so that's why my computer is here. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm about to go to the gym, so I look a little rough right now, but I'm going to edit this and then hopefully make more videos. And yeah, so I'll see you in the next one. Say bye, Stella. Bye.